Welcome to the DIY series, How to Build Your Own Food Truck with me, Frank Baltiers, where we answer weekly Q&As. And in today's question of the week, it was, can you give a quick overview on the plumbing? Great question, great topic, idea. Anything that you guys have in regards to like something that you want covered extra, or you have a specific question that I can make a video about, please drop it in the comments as I eat, answer each and every one myself, and I look at each and every one myself. Again, I'm Frank Baltiers, and I show you how to build food trucks from scratch. So let's get started right away. So I'm here on the three compartment sink, which typically a health department asks you or requires you to have one in your food truck, in your concession trailer, uh, food trailer, whatever you want to call it. They usually always, always ask for a three compartment sink. The only difference could be where they allow the three compartment sink to also act as your hand sink, which for me is right here. It's not the case for me here in DuPage County, so I had to have it separate. So that's part of the bigger overview of what are the two components that you need in your plumbing. One is a three compartment sink, which is your wash, rinse, sanitize, and then you run it right here. I, I pick my mine's in advance, Tabco three compartment sink. And it also has a right drain board and a left drain board, which in my case, they measure 15 inches on the right and 15 inches on the left. That's kind of what they require for us here in DuPage County. What I did here, just to give you the quick overview, I have a fresh water tank, which is the one in the front right here. And I have a gray water tank, or they call it a wastewater tank in the back. It's always a little bit bigger. And as I mentioned, every health department has different requirements. Mine was that the wastewater had to be 15% larger than the fresh water. That was what they required for us which I believe in this case, I used a 20 and a 25. I also, on other food trucks that I built, I went with a 25 and a 30, 30 and a 35, and whatever the case may be. And I use an under undermount style tank, and I bought these from Class A Customs. And as always, I always link all the products from my Amazon paid affiliate links. I have to put in the enunciation there on paid because I do make a small piece of every time that you guys click on the affiliate link when you buy products that I recommend. But it is, it is products that I actually use so just know that um, I'm not telling you to buy something that I have not put in my truck myself. And right here, with the three compartment sink with your purchase, when you buy this one, if you buy this one, uh, Advanced Tapco one, it comes with these strainers down here. These strainers, all these parts right here, I actually go into uh, quite a little bit of a detail on this ebook that I just did and I threw some bonus videos in there. So if you guys haven't bought that, it is, it should be done by this weekend which right now we're in the beginning of July. So by this weekend, the ebook should be done. So if you bought it already, be on the lookout because you guys are in for a cool surprise. I hope I can deliver to your expectations. And as always, feedback, good and bad, and how I can improve, I love to see it both. Um, but I do tell you what exactly you use right here. But just to give you the quick overview, I use an elbow, inch and a half, and then I go to my next one, my next one, and then that drains right over here to the, uh, backflow preventer. This backflow preventer allows you um, for the water so it doesn't come back and splashes back into your tanks. So that's what I have here followed by the water pump back here all the way in the back if you guys can see it. It's a 120 volt um, water pump. There's many different options. I use Seaflow and then I have PEX lines. You guys can see right here I have blue PEX lines. I have red PEX lines with um, little PEX connectors, PEX crimpers, and then I use like a PEX crimp tool, which is pretty inexpensive. Somebody did comment today to use Shark Bite. I've never used Shark Bite, so I cannot say if it works well or if it doesn't, but that is also an option. I guess you guys can use Shark Bite to do these little 90s and connectors. And then down here, uh, it drains down to the bottom. These down here, I'm, I'm gonna show you right now, it goes down to the, the drain levers made by Valterra. V-A-L-T-E-R-R-A, -R -R -A. almost like my last name, Val Baltieres, but it's Valterra. And these drain individually down to the bottom. And then you have right here, this one right here, this is your, uh, this is how you fill your tanks. Your tanks get filled up right here from the outside, and that's how you get water in here, and then obviously at the bottom you drain it out. So let me show you downstairs of the trailer how it looks. And then that's pretty much the video of today. I'm gonna keep it short, simple to the point. Again, if you guys want uh, access to the new ebook that I'm about to drop this weekend. I finally have a square uh, square page up, so I'm going to link it in the description. Make sure you click that. 
very small price and it comes with a spreadsheet for now I'm allowing like a little bonus of the spreadsheet so you also get my materials list of where I find my windows my tables my hand sink all that fun stuff that you see in this truck and trailer here so again I'm Frank Baltiers let me show you down at the bottom the drain levers and that'll be it for today again thank you for subscribing thank you for watching and thank you for liking all my videos I'm out of here all right so if you guys can see down here this is those two pipes that I showed you from the tanks at the bottom and from right here they come to another 90 and then it comes to these wastewater these levers you guys can see right up here that is a little lever and then when you want to dump out the water you just kind of lift it or you you know lift it up and down and that will drain your water tanks and that's pretty much how it looks down here you keep it nice and easy both of them have it I don't know if you guys can see it right there boom there it is it's kind of blurry but it's right there and that is how we dump out the water tanks when they get full or when they need um, to get uh, cleaned out if you guys need to wash out maybe like the fresh water tank if they want you to wash it out from the health department so that's how that looks right down here and to end it this is how you fill up the water so right here that's that tube that you guys saw that goes straight to the fresh water tank they make it in different colors they make it in white they make it in black and it's also made by that same company Valterra so hopefully that helps you out on the plumbing overview we're out of here. Bye-bye.